What's up guys? On this job, I'm going to be installing an infiltration trench and that is part of the stormwater management plan for this job site. As you can see in that back right corner, that we're, these guys are building a, an addition here on this house. I'm, I'm doing this job for a GC. And in my area, um, my county at least, stormwater management has become a big concern for a lot of these townships. So in general, if a homeowner wants to put an addition on their house that's a thousand square feet or more, they have to have some sort of stormwater management plan. All this dirt is going to need to be hauled off site. There's already a pretty large stockpile, which I'll show you here in a second, uh, from the foundation dig. That's what the builder did. It's pretty tight working conditions because I'm at the back of the house and as you can see the tree line is pretty close. All right guys, I got a little bit of downtime here. The last truck for the day left and I figured I'd take this time to show you guys the plans for what exactly we're building here. Right here's the detail for the infiltration trench. You can see uh, 35 feet in length, 10 feet wide, three feet deep. Uh, we're using number three stone, six inch perforated pipe, zero slope. And there's gonna be two catch basins installed. You can see them there on the other side um, oh and here's an important part of the detail the great height great height is 223.5 I'll get to that in a second I'll show you here what that means is if you look at this plan it shows the grades all over the place right all these numbers and I and this is for the guys that aren't familiar with looking at plans if you look at plans all the time you obviously know this but so we need a reference point to know what our great height is now a lot of times there's a story pole somewhere that has it marked on there but i like to go off something that's solid you know that hasn't been moved and there's no chance of you know human error so right here door sill 24.77 there's a door right here and then this is where our grates are going to go and they were at 23.5 so what that means, that's about one foot, four inches difference. So our grate is gonna be one foot, four inches lower than the door sill right here.
boy. Oh my lord. Woo! I'll tell you. Ah, that way not so much. Give her a little tap tap. Check this out. I want to give a little shout out to Schaefer's Grease. I use Schaefer's uh, 238. And you see these right here? These are my grease fitting caps. I usually keep them over top of the Zerk fittings. And what I do when I greasen it up, I obviously let them sit up here. You can see all the, the grease marks. Well, I greased this machine up yesterday, yesterday morning. Used it for about four hours. And I used it for about two hours today. Up and down this hill here. You know, grabbing stone moving dirt and everything else and I can't believe that these things have stuck there all that time that just goes to show you how tacky that grease is I mean I can't it's unbelievable there's there's six fittings here and, and all six are there this other side same deal this side I did lose one there's five here but I mean for me to be you know have about six hours of use with these things just literally just placed here that's just the tackiness of the grease that held them in place i think it's pretty amazing again that's uh the schaefer's 238 that i use it has molly in it and you know molly is really tacky so anyways back to work
got the pipe all glued together i just spun it so the whole side is down and then i've been checking it make sure we're spot on nice and level so we had some guys that had to make a repair to a pipe over here once they're done i'll fill this up with stone all the way and cover the fabric and basically work from that way towards this way I've got the stone about as far as I could reach with the excavator without backfilling that area. So now I'm going to go ahead. You can see I already laid some of this fabric over and I'm going to start covering this area with topsoil. I'll work my way this way. I'll probably wrap these two sections up too. Then once I get to about here, I'll put the remainder of the stone over there and then backfill the rest of it. So I just threw some filter fabric underneath the grates so that way if we get any rain uh, nothing washes in to the grate or into the drain. Not like we can't clean it out but at least it'll make clean out a little bit easier. I pretty much did a rough grade down here because I still have some work to do. Back on that side I need to dig a, a trench for a, uh, for a basement drain that's there. Just needs to go out to daylight like right there on the other side. And then I'm gonna do some backfilling around the foundation. I'm pretty sure he said they're gonna waterproof that. Um, so I gotta wait for them to finish that and then I'll do some backfilling. And then basically I'm gonna cut the grade so it's level with this slab right here. This slab and that entry point right next to the shovel over there are the same height. So we want the grade to basically be the same height all the way across. I try to take out enough up there with the 80 and along the edge here um, so that the what's left should just be good enough for my backfill i mean if there's a lot of rocks in it i'll just take it out and bring something else in we'll see otherwise guys as usual thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below i'll catch you on the next one